it requires a 10 mm socket I'm gonna disconnect the battery from here Now that the battery is off, to do this process you need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, 19mm deep socket. If you don't have a deep socket, you can use an extension to open up the steering wheel. You guys can see in the hole there's a bar, so you take a flathead screwdriver and you push on that bar right there. Give it a good push. You do that and then the airbag pops out on the side. And gently remove the airbag from the steering wheel. Airbag is out so you gotta be careful and remove this. And then we're gonna get to how to remove this and this from the steering, from the airbag. So the clip that you press, you see the mechanism in there, use a flat head screw, you see, in there when it's moving, and up there too, it releases the airbag. The airbag connectors, be careful use a flathead screwdriver and I'm trying my best possible way to give you a nice angle you just put the screwdriver in there and then wiggle wiggle there you go just like that all right and I'm gonna repeat the process for the other one and then it should come off just be careful and just Just easily and it comes off. Now your airbag is off. I mean, the, the next step is to open up this bolt. You use this 19 mm socket, which I have here with me. It's a deep socket, and we're gonna just pull it out. That bolt, I have an impact wrench that I bought from Harper Freight Tools. It was for $99, and I had a coupon. and. It was on sale, so I got 20% off. So I'm gonna use this to take out this bolt. So it's a 19 mm right there. Once the bolt is out, all you gotta do is pull your steering out. As a matter of fact, just wiggling a little bit. And I'll see if I can hold the camera and do the process. And I think I have to leave the camera and then wiggle it out. It takes a little bit of wiggling and the stirring is out. is off. Um, to take off the socket from here, I mean, to take this off from here, you got to press on this little guy right here a little bit and it pops out. Once it's out, now we're going to remove this plastic part. There are three screws at the bottom, one, two, and three. We're going to remove those screws and then this whole plastic things will just come off. So I'm going to do that process right now and uh, we take it from there. So now this plastic part is off, three screws, you fiddle a little bit with it and it comes off. 
The next step is we're going to remove this thing from here and then replace our clock spring. Next step is to remove this bottom shield right here. Should have one screw at the bottom over there and one screw at the bottom over here. Once we take those screws off, this shield should come off and that would give us easy access to remove this and work with it. So now this thing is off, we're going to remove this part right here. And we have some connectors we got to remove. I'll try to show you from the bottom. One is this one right here. One is this one right here, and the other one is here. And we can put in a screwdriver here and just push them back. Same thing with this one. So you press on that blue mark over here and then pull it out. I had mine a little bit out, so it's fairly easy. You gotta pull, push on that blue thing and just pull it out. I'm gonna remove this and the other one, and then we go to the next step. So we made sure that we disconnected all of our connectors. They're off. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up this screw. There's a screw here, and there's another screw around here somewhere. So we're going to open up these three screws. I believe it's through. It's three or two. But uh, we're going to remove those screws and uh, take this whole thing off. So guys, I forgot to mention there's another thing here that you got to remove. And there's screw here and screw here. Once you have the screws off, then this thing is going to come off. So let me open up the screws and I get back to you. Now we have the screws off and we got to see on the top over here. And we got to press here and this whole thing is going to come off. Press right here and this whole thing is going to come off. If you move this screw, this screw, and this screw. We have to move these things. And there are tabs over here, if you can see. You're going to press on these tabs, and this whole thing will come off.